hi and welcome to my second youtube video though in most while i was recording that I, I thought somehow it's going to be the first one but hi we already did that so these are those weekends where you have to work but also uh, it's a weekend so one day was work and then the next day was more of i am just extending it so that i can do some activities in zanzibar this was my first time to stay at this particular hotel, Hotel Verde by Bahresa in Zanzibar. And I didn't know it had like different structures where it's meant to like preserve the environment and they use um, solar panels. They have solar panels all around. The whole place is green. The meaning of Verde means green. So they go around um, keeping the environment and making the environment a safe space for people. They believe in like a lot of plants a lot of green in the hotel so the whole hotel is basically just greens everywhere you go around there's like trees it's very calm it's very it's 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 a place where you can go and like have a chilled nice weekend i really love the hotel taking this trip i've been like so up and about um, of taking this trip but this time around i am going to do a strange youtube <laughs> i'm going to do a straight youtube video like without cutting it without doing without overthinking it because i haven't been feeling like i am giving out my full self to the world and um it's all because what's this this lady, what's the one thing she likes to do more than anything else? Create content. What's the one thing that this lady doesn't do out of everything else? Create content also. So I'm like, I need to figure this out. I need to figure myself out. I need to figure out what I want, what I need to do, like what full, what fills me up. So this trip is meant to do just that. So I'm gonna try a lot of things and I'm going to do a lot of things so that I can refresh and also understand that I'm just already giving a lot at work. And maybe when I come home, I, I do not have the space and time and everything else to create content. But that doesn't extend everything, you know, like I still want to do this. I have one thing, one tiny little bit with this dress. I really like it, but then it always needs an iron and I just arrived and there's no like an iron where I can fix it up. But I decided, you know what, I'm not going to think about it. And um, there's moments where like a bra comes up comes out and you start to see my bra but we're not going to concentrate on that so ah, this is my first vlog it's zanzibar i've not said this all this time it's zanzibar i'm staying at this hotel called hotel verde it's like biggest hotel in zanzibar yada, yada, yada. so it's a like very known hotel so if you're looking at this just know that i have recorded this video maybe mara kwanza really i've recorded it maybe once twice twice i've recorded it a number of times but i hope this is my first So I'm like so late, we have to leave. Um uh, Yeah, let me take a picture. Yeah, this is the dress I was saying about. The next day, which was now supposed to be the last and fun day, yeah. 
So the first lesson that I learned by staying at Verde is whatever hotel you stay at, ask them what are the amenities or what are the things that they offer in the hotel. Because after asking that, I was taken through the whole hotel and what they offer. And that's when I realized that I could do snorkeling in like a good price. And I'd never done, I've never been in a fast fast boat before. So this was actually my moment. And guys, I was super so excited i was so 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 excited i could not keep my calm Clearly, this was very, very, very fast. Where we were headed was at least 30 minutes away from uh, Hotel Verde, and we were going to uh, that natural sandbank. So, where there's just sand in the middle of the ocean, and close to the sandbank is where we will be snorkeling. And the sandbank is just going down and seeing how it feels and how the water is like clear. And you're also given a chance if you want to like swim a bit because it's like super, super, super clear. Now, fun fact about me, blame it on colonialism, capitalism, or whatever that is. I don't know how to swim. I can't swim to save my life. <laughs> and for the longest time, I thought going snorkeling, you just have to swim. So I've always just kept it away from what I wanted to do until this time when I asked and I was told, no, 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 you don't have to like know everything. You just have to know a tiny bit ways of swimming and then you're good to go. For the first few minutes, I was literally just holding on to my life here. Yeah? And then I started getting used. And then this guy now, Ibra, is just meant for water. Because he really enjoys swimming. Like, you would see how he swims with, like, all the confidence. And he's, like, enjoying it and whatnot. And he made me feel so, like, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And I really enjoyed it now as we have established until now i am pure tanzanian i'm very african and for that case i have never ever ever kept my phone in water even though i know it has some abilities of being water resistant you know i've never tried it wait see how ibra is really enjoying the water but i've never tried it yo and then this time around i was like you know what let's do it It was really one thing missing all this with my own eyes, but it was super like it was it was surreal me recording it and with it felt so unreal and then each time I look at these videos I'm like wow God is like really doing it in this earth you know like God really took time building homes for fish also tell me why all i could see in this fish is just that maybe they're married and like they're walking around together and then there are like others who have like uh, zebra lines and i was i was creating all these stories in my head like you know what maybe this is what's happening and then a few minutes later i'll be like <gasps> bah, 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 bah. like i cannot i have to go out of the water and get some air first and then i would come down again <laughs> and make stories like that all over and To be honest, I think this stops us all the experiences I've had in this world. 
I really enjoyed. Like, I really, it was surreal. It was so nice. So, continue seeing some of these homes and fish and like some Dora. Yeah, I give them names. <laughs> also, another fun fact about me I am very, very super allergic to fish since I was very young. So, I don't take any seafood. So, I felt like, you know what? You guys are my friends. Don't worry. I don't eat you guys. So, we can like chit chat. You people are amazing. I think I spent a long time in the water to an extent it was about time that we had to leave because it was the same day also i'm leaving from zanzibar coming back to dar and i had to catch like my boat i had to be on time like all these things i had to be like super strict with time but yo i wish i just went there for like three four eight hours because this was amazing it was therapeutic <laughs> really that was it this trip was coming to an end and i just want to go back like right now right this minute just take me back take me back and leave me there anyways i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you have kept it in your calendar that you have to go to zanzibar and try doing uh snorkeling and going on a fast boat and whatnot i hope you enjoy the ocean i hope at some point this has brightened up your day like it, it did for me please comment like share subscribe we are in this together